Hey again, this is the ongoing reconstruction of this copy of a Steinberger. It started out to be just a defretting, and then I decided, well, if I've defretted it, let's do everything. Uh, I did the neck. I used fret nippers, which are flat nose pliers, to pull out the frets. Then I filled with a wood plastic. I sanded the neck down, and it looks pretty cool, actually. It's pretty smooth. I'm going to stain it a red mahogany. And I stripped out all the electronics as the pots were really noisy. I'm going to put in one single coil for the time being. I'm not sure which front or back, probably here. But I took off the Steinberger bridge and the pots, as you can see, everything essentially. It's said to get rid of this enamel that a heat gun is the way to go. Um, hopefully I will not set things on fire or singe the cat's whiskers. This video I'm going to do the back. Let's turn the thing on. It's a Wagner heat gun. This was total with tax locally $30. This one has two adjustable settings, 1200 watts, so it's not a hair dryer. So let's turn the thing on, kind of exciting. The all important switches, there's off, low, and high. This, oops, there it goes. But I was told you just kind of go over the surface. And the cats are curious, you can't see. Uh, a snake. I mean, this kitty's kitty's curious there. Uh, nobody gets near. But the idea is that you go over it and you soften up the paint. It's ideal to remove this poly uh, ethylene coating. So, so far, I've not seen any notable changes, but this stuff's supposed to flake off. So again, experiments here at Woodwire Music and Woodworking Studios. But there you go. Proof is somewhat in the pudding. That's party. Look at that stuff. I guess it's a paint and a sealer. It looks like paper. But we're getting there and I see some real wood, so cool. Oh man. How about those apples? Now obviously I'm gonna scratch up the wood somewhat doing this but we're gonna paint it. I'm gonna use cherry red. So this is rather cool. As you can see, Mr. Heat Gun has done the trick there. That's kind of pretty. I can see how you could cut out sections you want, paint sections you want, and have this really cool, kind of, I guess, Eddie Van Halen look. Let's use some more heat on there. That's kind of fun. Cats get curious. One of the reviews I read on this on Amazon, not this particular model, but they were all positive and all great, except man one had the subject line of it's not a hair dryer. And uh, supposedly, uh, which I found really hard to believe, the party got everything done and was relaxing in another room and he heard the scream coming. And he ran out the room and his wife's hair was on fire and he grabbed her head and dumped her in a fish tank as fast as he could. And that just sounds a little like nobody's nobody's thinking at home. Uh, so, should that be any place close to true, it's really hot and it ain't a hero. All right, let's try some more shaving down to see. Ooh, that's oh, that's beautiful. That is that is just beautiful the way that stuff comes off. I'm excited. So I'm gonna keep scraping. Uh, this has been a neat uh, experiment and we'll do the rest of the body uh, and follow me along on how this guitar evolves. I'm pretty jazzed about it. I'm sure the wiring will be an interesting video because I've never done that. Heat gun, about 30 bucks, and it did a marvelous job pulling this off and we'll see you on the next one.